Friends, that right there, out there is Lake Mead. And I'll show you how low the water is. You see that white right there? That was the level of the water at one point. But we're real close to the Hoover Dam. Real close. You see how steep this is. You see how slow the trucks are having to go. where the dam's at. Looks like a biker gang just showed up. You got your knife, Trey? Yeah. Might have to cut somebody. more than we bargained for. Wow. Hey, I, I knew they were fussing. Yeah, I don't know if we could post that or not. He it's, was cussing in some language. In some language, so we'll have to tr transcribe <laughs> it on our show. Uh, wow, did you get him kicking the... I, I didn't, I walked away. He kicked it hard. That might be a Thompson. A Smith over here? Yeah, Thompson and a Smith. He's still pissed, Billy. Yeah, he's really upset. <laughs> These poor fellas. They're just trying to enjoy Route 66 and... You don't mess with bikers. So friends, there's Boulder City. And the dam is going to come up right around here somewhere. Are we going to go ahead and stop and do this real quick while we're here? Might as well. Yeah. Because I need to fly the glory, and I'd like to see those boats. Have you been to the dam? To Hoover Dam? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you've been on the dam tour? I haven't been on the dam tour like Chevy Chase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. But I did come out here with my mom and dad. And grandparents. Plus, I brought goo and heel out here, and goo wouldn't get out of the car. There's a Hoover Dam Lodge and stuff. Yeah, that guy was cussing in three languages. Man, that's going to be great, because, I mean, you can't, you don't know what he's saying. Yeah. But somebody will. Yeah, I don't have any idea what he was saying. I'm not sure what language he was even speaking, but he was not happy. He went and kicked, he kicked that steel I had turned and walked away, but you called it, didn't you? I didn't film it, no. You didn't? No, I wasn't. I was Heck just watching. I didn't want him to turn his attention to us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then we would just have been laughing. I yeah. mean, I'd have been laughing my head off. Yeah, so we're going to look at Lake Mead and Boulder City this way. Because all I want to do is see the lake. I've already done the dam. And from here, I could probably fly the drone. They won't let you fly the drone at the dam. But I think I could fly it out here. But yeah, I went on the dam tour. How was it? It was damn good. Did you open a door like Chevy Chase? Yeah, it right was right there. on the edge. And then it caused a hole in the... But this way, we don't have to make a trip back out here to get any of this. There's a road up there. Yeah, there's this over there, right? You see it? Yeah, yeah. that's the um, where you miss. 
miss the, uh, the bridge going to it. Yeah. It's that new bridge. Yeah. We're weaving and waving through here. Yeah, I cannot believe it's uh, raining. It says high profile vehicles use the left lane. That's us. We're high profile. We're styling and profiling. Styling and profiling. The nature boy. Now, this is the bridge you were talking about. Okay, this is not it. We can see to our Hey, you can't see over. Daggone it. I went. So friends, I sent the glory up and I did not get, I wanted to be able to see where these boats are. Y'all probably seen the pictures of the boats sticking up. And I have no idea where that's at as opposed to where I'm at. What I was trying to do was at least fly over this while I was in the vicinity and Trey and I were heading to Arizona. So I just wanted to stop off and fly and, and kind of give you an idea of how low this is. When we fly over and we get close to the uh, little area over here, I will point to where the actual water level would normally be. You can see where the boat ramps are, where the people would back up to put the boats in the water. You see this little area right here where it's paved. You see the, the single road and it gets wide. That would be a boat ramp right there. And at the bottom of the boat ramp, which is way away from where the water is, is where the water would normally be. So where I'm getting to right about here is where the water level would normally be at the bottom of the screen. And so I'm gonna just fly out and look. We're gonna look at the marina and coming back, I'll show you, you'll be able to see the boat ramp. But they've had to really adjust on the marina and move it further out into the water and so as the water comes back up, and I think these things for the most part would be completely underwater. You see right there where it's white, except for the very tip top is brown. That's where the water level would normally be. So it is way down, quite a bit down. So can you imagine how far out they had to push all this to be able to stay in the water? There's the boat ramp. You see the cars are parked. You see the one to the left at kind of an angle. The water would be right there. That would be the water level. If you look at the dirt right here, you see where it's white? That's where the water level would normally be to. So it is down quite a bit, just a shocking amount. And the marina would normally be right there. You can actually see where the paved road is. That would be the marina start right there. You see on the left. Yep, pretty crazy stuff. Crazy times, friends. And I'm going to just drop down in here. We'll look at a couple of things. We're actually parked on the other side. Where you see this, there's a little mountain area behind it. I'm on the other side of that mountain area is where I'm parked. Because you had to actually pay to go down in here, which I have no problem with. But if I'm not staying, I don't want to go through and pay just to drive down there to fly the drone. That's why I have a drone, so I don't have to pay to fly so I am going to go over the top of the mountain and you'll see a little parking lot. And that's where we're parked at, right there. And I call that a mountain, that's a, a mole hill. But it's still more than I would want to climb. It's not little. And things are a lot further away than you think they are when you're out there in the desert and you're looking at mountains and things. They look like they're really, really close, but they're not. And the parking lot where I'm at, you see it coming up, middle of the screen, about three quarters of the way up. That is the parking lot. Yep, we are parked right there. So friends, we're at Lake Mead. I just flew the glory and I want to show you it's raining. So maybe Lake Mead has a chance of filling back up. It's actually sprinkling out here. So hopefully the drought is over. It took me and Trey to come here to bring the rain. 
I didn't get a chance to film it. Trey did a rain dance earlier. Yeah, yeah, it was a great one, too. Yeah. Give us a little bit of it, Trey. Um, well, you know, Billy, I really would. But it's just... We don't want it to flood while we're driving. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I, I don't want the, all the, the flood waters to hit yeah. on us while Not we're driving. Not while we're driving. Not while yeah. we're driving. But you know what? If they make a biopic of my life one day, you may see it. Because I'm a great dancer in that biopic. Well, you'll see what it will be is that Michael Jackson taught you how to dance. You're right. And it wasn't me. Yeah. It was Michael Jackson. It was Michael he, Jackson. He inspired me somehow. He inspired you somehow. And I hung out with him one night. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't need to say all that, but... Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 I'm just saying. <laughs> So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.